Hi, I'm Cheryl, and today I'm going to show you how to fold a cloth napkin into a bunny rabbit. I have a, um, it's like 18 or 19 inches square cloth napkin, and you fold it in half twice to make a long skinny rectangle. Then you fold the sides down like this. I call this the um, playhouse step because it reminds me of a, of a little girl's playhouse in the backyard. Then you fold up like so. This is what I call the home plate. If you have a son who plays baseball, that reminds me of home plate. Then it's the ice cream cone step. You fold this up like a sugar cone, of course, not a cake cone, a sugar cone. Then to put ice cream in it, you would have to open that up, right? When I get to this point, you fold it together. And then because it's a cloth napkin, I use a piece of twisted jute twine. This one is 16 inches long. And when you tie it like so, the jute twine makes it look kind of like whiskers. So I'm just gonna tie this in a knot right here. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess with my very cute scissors. I know you all have scissor envy, cutest scissors ever. So they're my little whiskers. Then you just kind of form the bunny rabbit ears so they look like bunny rabbit ears. And then my husband said, oh my gosh, you need to use the pink peanut M&Ms that they make at Easter time to make the ears more realistic. So that was a definite do. So you have your bunny rabbit cloth napkin for your family and friends on Easter. Then my daughter-in-law said, oh, you need to add a little cotton ball as a little ponytail. And I was like, yes, I do. And then she said, or you could use a marshmallow. And I'm like, I vote for the marshmallow, but I didn't have any in my house. So you're seeing it with a cotton ball. But as Megan said, marshmallow would work too. And that's my two cents worth. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.